I um, was approached by Jay, and he said that he wanted to get a basketball team together. So um, he approached me and my partner, Rob Holler, and uh, we had experience putting on another basketball team, which Jay had collaborated with us with. He did filming for our other basketball game against um, our Nighthawks team from NEC and the Vancouver Police, which is why this game is really significant right now. So he asked us to put this Wild Simon All-Stars team together, and we thought, hey, like, we know basketball players, we're good in the First Nations community, and let's do this, like, this is for a great cause. And so a lot of our, a lot of our players we picked because they're, you know, they're All-Stars, not just on the court, but off the court as well, on the streets, doing the community stuff, volunteering. So it's nice to see our hard work finally come out today. It's, it's like, we've been working on this for so long, and. It's like everything's coming together, there's kids playing, you know, there's basketball players on the court, the Vancouver Police are here, you know, my organization gets to be a part of this too, and it's just such an honor to have all this happening right now. Cool. Can we do it? Nice. <laughs> Very good. How was that? Is that right? Or the Wilds is your backup band? The Wilds is everything. So, uh, Holly Arnson, who is on her way, and you Kevin Wright do a lot of uh, environmental education and arts and music, and um, so we're just doing a sideline interview with them. They have just launched an Indiegogo campaign called uh, 40 Million Salmon Can't Be Wrong, which is uh, a story tell about the 2010 bounty of sockeye. And how did that all happen? So, they've got a story. Uh, what I enjoyed uh, most about the event today is the coming together of uh, all the different communities. We have, uh, you know, kids, we have the police department, we have salmon people, um, we have, you know, all different parts of the community brought together here on a beautiful day, like the weather turns out for us. And so, uh, yeah, good plan. I think people will keep fighting for the environment and like really try to keep it clean for sure. My passion is to just um, help everyone out, like in a very positive way. That's my passion for sure. Like passion, like with basketball, helping people out with this team, and like it's a very positive team. And that's what I like about it. Uh. Oh, even the it, numbers, even the police disagrees. Check your fingerprints on your arm there, Kelsey. Baskets. All right, that's your halftime, everybody. Give it up for the players. All right, we got a halftime show coming up. James Jones, who flew in from Edmonton for this uh, celebration here, so I'll give him the mic. Hello, how's everybody doing today? All right. All the guys and girls sweating it up, doing a good job. Originally, I'm from uh, Tall Creek First Nation, which is a uh, uh, community of the Woodlands Cree territory, which is. Um, way over there, 
far, farther away. Um, about eight hours north of Edmonton. Uh, I'm going to be making a lot of different things, and it's also a dance of storytelling. So I'm going to be telling a story while I dance as well. Uh, you're going to see many different shapes, many different objects, many different things. Uh, and it's different to those who watch it, because this dance is, is not for me. This dance is for the people, and it's for you. So uh, you might see an eagle's nest. You might see uh, a snake. You might see uh, a buffalo. You might see uh, uh, a raven. You know, if you're hungry, you might see a... Uh, Chicken McNugget. I try to stay real and I try to be, uh, you know, stay real with my goals and with who I am, you know. I, I don't try to go out of my box too much uh, as in trying to be something I'm not, you know. Um, I know who I am. I'm uh, James Jones. I've been drug and alcohol free for 15 years now. Um, and, uh, you know, I just do what I love to do, which is dance and uh, share my story with uh, people and communities. Just in general, though, you know, colors mean a lot of different things. I mean, the, a lot of people have the, the colors of the, the medicine wheel on their uh, regalia, which is a huge teaching to, uh, you know, First Nations people. Um, people use red for different reasons. Well, we have a lot of different teachings uh, within the medicine wheel. Uh, you know, it teaches us about respect, uh, sharing, caring, um, you know, it teaches us about the drum. It pretty much, it's basically our, 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 our Bible for, uh, for, for all of our teachings that are, that are passed down to us and a, a great way of living and a great way of life. So get your thoughts on the first uh, half there. Uh, I think you're down. How's that? How's that uh, are you going to blame that on the yeah, staying late at night? We, we blame it on uh, night shift and also the wind that's around here. Uh, well, I'd just like to uh, thank uh, take this opportunity to uh, thank the Salish Nation and as well as our friends over there, the uh, Sa Salmon Warriors, uh, for uh, giving us this opportunity just to, uh, just to uh, be part of their uh, community and uh, also just being part of this uh, opportunity to, uh, to give us uh, a game of basketball, right? <laughs> Land. Everyone's inspiration. All you have to do is show a little willingness, and you pick up the inspiration of someone else, and they start getting getting willing. You know, I love the Salmon Mountain. The mountain's crazy. It's funny how me and Jay met because uh, I had to pick up food bank for my school on Friday, but I forgot there was a PD day, so there was no school on Friday. So I had to make arrangements to move the food somewhere else, and uh, I called our friends at Musqueam. And uh, they said they'll send me a guy to come pick up the food and we'll bring it out to Musqueam and we'll set that up. So I see this guy in this, in this van, this whacked out van, and I'm like, look at this guy, right? And let alone did I know that he was uh, there to pick me up in the food. Wow. So then we went up to Musqueam. He, he told about his film stuff and, and what he's into. And I'm like, I'm into the basketball. And so the very, the very next tournament we filmed, Chris Haynes and one. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm the co-captain of the Salmon Warriors. Uh, we've been working on this all summer, and I'm glad it's coming apart. Dimitri Harris. 
Uh, regularly, I'm a basketball coach. I actually did that this morning, today in Chinatown. Uh, if you guys want to look over there, my kids are actually just playing some basketball over that way. Um, yeah, just trying to give back to the community. I was taught so much as a kid uh, as far as basketball goes, so I want to pass on the knowledge. And um, I, I love working with kids. Uh, as well, I'm a, I'm a pretty intense basketball player. Um, I'm going to play in Seattle uh, as a semi-pro um, for the Seattle Mountaineers, and that starts up in September. So I'm also really excited about that. Yeah, I am a second year master's student at the University of British Columbia in theater studies. I played basketball uh, varsity for five years at the University of British Columbia and I played two years professionally in Sweden. Um, I am passionate about sport, um, art and culture and promoting healthy living. I coached the Native Education College team in the winter of this year and then I was asked by Robert, uh, one of the coordinators of the team, if I would be interested in sort of coming out and supporting this game against the BPD and I was really excited about that opportunity and so I took it and here I am. I like that you get to create a live experience for people and in the work that I do that I study it, I look at the way that sport helps us think about theatre and theatre helps us think about sport.